Before this video starts, I have to address the elephant in the room, which is that my air conditioning control does indeed have dark mode. I had to enable it in settings, but still, someone implemented that, and that thing has got to have a limited amount of computational power and memory, so that's pretty awesome. But anyway, for what you came for, how I did it was I downloaded a website called Colmac Club, or maybe it was Colmac Academy. I know there's two, and one of them sucks. I think Academy is the good one. There's probably new ones now. Um, and basically what you need is a website that'll slowly introduce you to pieces of a layout. Not like monkey type where it's just giving you like straight up things to type, but it, it'll like incrementally add things, add like small pieces of the layout. It starts you off in the home row and then it introduces like your index fingers and then more and more fingers. There's like seven different levels to it. So I took that website, which is open source, I downloaded it. I added a very small modification, which is just I, I spun up a SQL server and then I just saved each one of my tests into it with like the level just so I could plot my progress. And then I went offline for two days. And by offline, I literally like went to a cabin in the woods and I had no power or Wi-Fi. That's why I had to download this website. So maybe you don't have to, but no distractions helped. And then basically I just did two four to five hour days. So it was like eight to 10 hours, somewhere in there of just straight practicing. It wasn't like all at once, just sitting there practicing. It was like between activities. You know, you don't just like go out to a, a cabin to camp and then just sit inside on your laptop. I mean, maybe you do, I don't know. I didn't, I was doing other things. I was just like running tests between every single activity I could. And you can rack up a lot of, hours on anything that way like there's a surprising amount of in-between time people don't take advantage of because they're just on their phones or whatever so yeah i would say the majority of the time probably the first four hours were spent on like the first three levels it was very slow at first to get rid of the qwerty muscle memory and i should mention actually the stats i went from zero to 80 words per minute in two days which i think is pretty good i was at about maybe 100 on QWERTY before that, and now I'm back up to 100 on Colmac. I'm not one of those crazy people who's like over 100 by a good amount, but you know, I think I think that's good enough. Like, There's a point of diminishing returns. But anyway, yeah, just tons and tons of practice on Colmac Academy, and I just worked my way up slowly and deliberately. One thing you have to do when you're learning something like this is deliberate practice. It's very tempting when you start seeing success at something to kind of keep going over that rut over and over again. Like if you're at level one and you're just doing the home row and you're like, man, I'm hitting 60 words per minute here. This feels really good. I'm going to keep doing it. You have to keep pushing yourself to a point where it's like very uncomfortable, you know, and you're, you're messing up. So I would just do that over and over and over again. And once you max it out and you're at level seven or whatever, you have the full keyboard layout, then you have to push yourself by typing slightly faster than you're comfortable with and reducing errors. So those two days, I got up to about 80 words per minute, but I was still hitting some like inaccuracy problems. So I guess this is technically outside of two days, but over the next, I don't know, several months, like once every week or something, I would do a few monkey type tests. And what you can do in monkey type is sort by English commonly misspelled. And I found that really helped me out. And then you can also sort by like things that you personally misspell, which was more or less in line actually with English commonly misspelled for me, I think. I don't really remember. I don't do t typing tests anymore. There was a point where I do them a lot, actually when I was using QWERTY, not so much when I was using Colmac. There's totally a point of diminishing returns when you're learning a new, more efficient layout. And that's because it just gets you have to you have to really deliberately practice at a certain point you have to really push yourself beyond what's comfortable and try to type it like 120 words per minute if you're if you're doing um if you're just trying to get up to those really fast speeds and for me like i could probably do that again with another kind of investment of big chunks of time and in, in like a weekend i might do that at some point down the road i haven't just because like typing it about 100 words per minute feels pretty good to me Another thing I did, which is not necessarily a requirement for everyone, but I, I spent some time, I don't know, maybe like a couple hours in total just drilling numbers and symbols 
on my laptop keyboard layout, like just brackets and, and colons and all that stuff. I think colon is actually included in most default typing tests, but yeah, the plus minus underscore tilde, all that stuff, just so I could type faster when programming. But that's not a requirement for everyone if you're not a programmer. But let's be honest, if you're learning Colmac DH, like not many people are, are just normal. I guess maybe really weird writers or something would do that, but yeah. So that's that's honestly pretty much it. It was just like some solid blocks of offline practice. It really helped that I had basically nothing else to do.